Good morning everyone. Are you ready for today's lesson? Good. Today we are going to revise ORT Reader Village in the Snow for the guided assessment. So quickly bring your reader Village in the Snow with the literature notebook because at the end of the lesson we will do the classwork. All of you have the reader with the notebook? Very nice. Open page number one and read with me. The children were at school. It was playtime. Come in, called Mrs. May. Dear students, children were at school and playing with the fit football because it was playtime. Mrs. May blew whistle to call them inside because the playtime was over. On this page, the word children and school are common noun. Mrs. May is the proper noun and you can see that first letter of her word is capital. The word come and called are the verbs. Come on page number 2 and 3. Mrs. May told the children a story. The story was about a village. The village was in the mountains. Everyone liked the story. It was called the village in the snow. Mrs. May is proper now and it is the first word of the sentence also. She was telling a story to the children about a village that was in the mountains. Everyone liked the story. And what's the name of the story? Yes, the village in the snow. Students, do you remember? Titles of the books always begin with the capital letters. You can see here, Village in the Snow is the title of the story. Come on the next page. It is page number 4 and 5. Read with me. The children went to Biff's room. They wanted an adventure. Biff picked up the magic key. The key began to glow. The magic is working, said Biff. In the evening, Wilf and Wilma came to play with Biff and Chip. The children wanted an adventure, so that they went to Biff's room. As Biff picked up the key, it began to glow. Okay. Can you identify the verbs on page number 4 and 5? Yes. Went, wanted, picked, began and said are past tense verbs or you can say they are second form of verbs. Turn your page. It is page number 6 and 7. The magic took the children to the village in the snow. It's lovely, said Biff. Kipper jumped in the snow. I like the snow, he called. This is fun. The magic took the children to a village that was covered in the snow. The children were overjoyed. Now read the first line on page number 6 and identify the common nouns. Hear the word magic, children, village and snow are common nouns. And what is biff? Is it common noun or proper noun? 
yes it's proper noun and proper nouns always begin with a capital letter very nice now move to the next page that is page number 8 and 9 they played in the snow they made a snowman and put keeper's hat on top they jumped in the snow they threw snowballs look said wilma the children played in the snow they made a snowman jumped in the snow and did snowball fight then wilma saw something and pointed to look at that dear students on these two pages played made put jumped threw and said are second form of verbs can you identify nouns on page number 8 Yes snow snowman and hat are the common nouns while keeper is a proper noun got it come on page number 10 and 11 they saw a little boy the boy was pulling a toboggan some big boys ran up they pushed the little boy over they pushed the toboggan over and ran away they saw a little boy who was carrying things on his toboggan suddenly some big boys appeared they pushed the little boy and his toboggan also after that they ran away laughing at him dear students Here are two words that are little and big. These two words are describing different types of boys. One is a little boy while the others are big. Little and big are adjectives. Now, come on page number 12 and 13. The children ran up. They helped the little boy. Keeper picked up his hat. The little boy told them about the big boys. Keeper was cross. Children helped the little boy and he told them about the big naughty boys. Keeper was angry. He wanted to give them a lesson. Now let's see what happened next. Keeper put on the little boy's hat. He put on his coat. Come on, he called. The big boys looked at Keeper. Keeper looked like the little boy. Come on, said the big boys. Keeper got an idea. He wore little boy's hat and coat. Hat and coat are common nouns. He started pulling the toboggan. Big boys thought that he was the same little boy. They decided to tease him again. Come on the next page. That is page number 16 and 17. The children threw snowballs at the big boys. Help! Help! yelled the big boys. The big boys ran away. The little boy jumped and jumped in the snow. As the big boys come to tease the little boy, the children threw snowballs at them. The big boys couldn't understand the situation. They yelled for help and ran away from there. Now, here is page number 18 and 19. The children put the little boy on the toboggan. They pulled him home. The little boy lived with his grandfather. 
children helped the little boy and came with him to his home he was living with his grandfather who wasn't feeling well and waiting for him at the door students hear the words children boy toboggan home and grandfather are the common nouns come on page number 20 and 21 grandfather gave the children a drink the children told grandfather about the big boys they told grandfather about the snowball fight grandfather gave the children hot milk with the carrot cake then the children told grandfather about the big boys and snowball fight turn your page the children played in the snow they went on the toboggan this is fun said wolf the magic key began to glow it's time to go home said biff come on she said the children played in the snow and had great fun meanwhile the key began to glow and it was time to go home come on the last page the magic took the children home what an adventure said chip the magic took the children home in biff's room they really enjoyed the adventure did you okay now it's time to wrap up okay close your books and tell me who told a story to the children yes you are right mrs may told a story to the children the next question is who was pulling a toboggan a little boy was pulling a toboggan how did the children give lesson to the big boys hmm children threw snowballs at the big boys very nice now open your literature notebooks for the class work get ready your page all of you know that how will you get ready the page write day date class work and the topic is village in the snow the first question is choose any five verbs from the reader and use them in your sentences question number 2 is and list five common and five proper nouns from the story village in the snow got it dear students take care of yourself because taking care of yourself is the most powerful way to begin to take care of others thanks for being with me allah hafiz